Welcome back to the Mount Pleasant Dynasty. Today we get Season 2 underway as Mount Pleasant is at home. They will be taking on North Texas. This is a team that lost 12 seniors in the offseason, but did bring in some nice recruits, return a number of new players, however, do have to replace a number of starters as well. So today it is now officially underway. It's Robbie Golden, the redshirt freshman wide receiver, will take it out of his own end zone. He tries to make a move and it's brought down to the 19 yard line. So junior quarterback Jonathan Gibbs will come onto the field. The first play of the season is going to be a loss. It's freshman fullback Steve Lewis on the loss of three. Another heavy set and another loss for Mount Pleasant. It's a loss of three that time. Third down and 15, and a free rusher gets Jonathan Gibbs. So it is great field position after a good return for North Texas. Here's Jeffrey Wilson. He's brought down by Kavika Watts, now starting at free safety. Second down and three read option. It's a keeper for the quarterback. He spins down as he's brought down by Terrell Byers. A four down lineman, first down and 10. It's Wilson up the middle on the draw play. He's got it and is just short of the first down line. This defense has new starters at right end, defensive tackle, right outside linebacker, and strong safety. And the running, or the receiver, I should say, outside is down to the one yard line. Looks like he slipped and fell. And now first down and goal. New starter at right end, John Paul Cutler. He's got the tackle for loss. We've lost every sack from last season except for two. And there's a draw play for Jeffrey Wilson. He's into the end zone for an early 7-0 lead for North Texas. Our offense looks to get something going on this drive. As there's Gerard Buchanan. He transitioned in the offseason from wide receiver to tight end. A give on the read option to Elton Huff. He's coming off an 11 touchdown season last year with around 800 yards. First down and 10, we go quick throw to Allen Harrison. He's got it for the first down. He's our leading receiver from last year. However, he was shaken up on that play. A throw on third down and seven, and in between two receivers, so another punt for Mount Pleasant's offense. Second down and six, throw goes to Gorey. He's got it, and he's brought down by Xavier Burns, but picks up 13 yards. Last year, we had the worst defense in college football by far, and there's a stop right there. We've got to play better, especially against teams on North Texas's level. Another third down as Jonathan Gibbs will roll out to the right. He dumps it down to Dorian Mays, and the true sophomore has it for nine yards. A twin tight end look. Gibbs is going to throw. No, he's going to be brought down. Another sack for this North Texas defense. We had a lot of trouble with that last year. And now here's a bubble screen. It's Ernest Harrison, the starting strong safety. He was an athlete coming out of high school. You could definitely see him playing on both sides of the ball. There were come some considerations to play him at running back. Instead, he was put on defense. And there's another stop for the North Texas defense. Here's Wilson. He's brought down for no gain. So a three and out forced by our defense. Second down and 11, it's Robbie going across the middle. He's got the 5'7 receiver, picks up 27 yards. Another twin tight end look. A dump down goes to Gerard Buchanan. Nice spin move right there as he's got 7 yards on that reception. Five wide set on third down and four. Dump down to Damian Ransom. He's brought down shy of the first down line. So now junior kicker Nate Perry will come on for the field goal attempt. The kick is away, and it is no good, just shy. So no point still for Mount Pleasant. Our defense has played well in this first half. Hopefully they can continue it for the rest of it. Now a play action, off balance throw, it's Rutherford. He's got it to the 25 yard line, a 30 yard gain. Rutherford nearly had a thousand yards receiving last year for North Texas. Now it's Jeffrey Wilson. He goes for seven yards, that'll ring up third down and now five after a false start. Shambor goes to the end zone. He's got his man Prater just shy of it though. So first down and goal from the two yard line. Throw outside and nearly intercepted once by Lamont Dowdle and then by Leroy Red. An option call on second down and goal and we play the running back so Shambor will just keep it himself and take it in for now a two score lead 
for North Texas. Under two minutes left in this first half, down the field! It's a big play for Ronaldo McCall. He broke free down the seam. Now he dumped down to Kenton Watkins. He's got it and he is showing off some nice run after the catch ability. He did the same in the spring game as well. Second down and nine. Another throw down the seam. This time it's Dorian Mays and the tight end has it. A 14 to seven game now. Only 50 seconds left in the first half. Our defense can't allow any points to end the half. It's Bendy for 20 yards though as North Texas does use their first timeout. Pressure gets there and a great throw to Gorey. He's got to the 33 yard line brought down by Ernest Harrison. Only nine seconds have run off the clock on those two plays. Now Shambor all day to throw. He finds his running back Wilson open. He's down at the seven yard line. Great job of getting open by the receivers on this drive for North Texas. First down and goal, a lob to the end zone. It's intercepted by Markel Reyes. So that will take us into halftime. Reyes had two all of last year, and he's got one in the first half here today. Our offense only two rushing yards in the first half, and we're going to have to wait to see our offense on the field as North Texas does open up the second half with the ball. It's Keenan who makes the tackle on Shambor. We have an update though on Allen Harrison. He suffered a concussion and will not be returning to today's game. It's Smith on the catch. He's got it inside of Mount Pleasant territory. Another turnover would be huge, but that works just as well. A free man comes. It's Kavika Watts, the loss of eight on the sack. Now the throw, wide open. It's Harrison in pursuit along with some other defenders. A 48-yard gain, just blown coverage there. Now first down and goal, and Jeffrey Wilson punches it in. It's a 21-7 lead. Took just over a minute for North Texas to score. Here's Mike Meadows. He's got it, and he picks up eight yards on that play. Steve Lewis gets another carry. He powers through a defender for a couple extra yardage on a gain of seven. First down and ten. We'll go back to Lewis once again. He's got another gain, this time for eight yards. Sticking with the full house set, the give this time goes to Danny Whitmore. He's got a big gain inside a mean green territory for 13 yards. This formation's been effective so far in this drive. A great block by Steve Lewis. It's Gibbs who keeps it, and he is shaken up on the play, so Colby Lucas will enter the game. Eldon Huff comes back in as well as he's got eight yards on that carry. Lucas still in the game, a three wide set. As Huff tries to bounce to the outside, he finds some room and is just shy of that first down line. Mike Meadows comes in motion. It's Huff. He's got it and he's inside of the five yard line. A big gain as now Jonathan Gibbs is back into the game. Throw it's Damian Ransom for a five yard touchdown and it's back to a seven point ball game with three minutes left in the third quarter. A four wide set give goes to Wilson. He cuts it back, hesitates. He's still going and finally brought down. Not a lot of real speed there, just very shifty from Wilson. A dump down, great move from Smith. He's brought down by a shoestring tackle of Blake Cotton. First down and 10, another throw and another completion. It's T. Gorey for 13 yards. A three wide set and it's a stop in the backfield as Shambor is shut down by junior college transfer Mario Harper. The kick is away from North Texas and that will extend it back to a two score lead. Jonathan Gibbs throws, lobbing it to the outside for Ronaldo McCall. He's got it for 14 yards. Great patience by Gibbs to allow his receiver to get open. Now we go empty, a throw outside for McCall once again. This one goes for 15 yards, so a 10 point deficit as we enter the fourth quarter looking for the first win on the season. A twin tight end look on third down and 10. And Gibbs pass goes nowhere. He was hit as he threw, and so we're going to go for it on 4th down and 10. Gibbs goes deep. He is intercepted by Miner and 10 for McCall, and he's brought down by Jameel Valentine. A poor decision, and really just an arm punt, 
but we get the ball right back the very next play it's Markel Reyes he had two interceptions all of last year and he's got two today in week one and there's the matchup nightmare Gerard Buchanan first down and goal pitch Steve Lewis trucks the defender and runs it in from four yards out it's now a three-point ball game as we capitalize on the turnover a four-man rush throw to the outside wide open it's bendy as our defense struggles once again at stopping the pass this time we bring a blitz and it's across the middle a quick throw has really negated any pressure we might be able to get empty set a play action for Shambor. he dumps it down to rutherford he's got it inside of the 10 yard line a first down reception under seven minutes left in the fourth quarter it's Ebuze. he's got it for an eight yard reception now second down and two Gago draw play it's Brian Thomas the senior from Louisiana with the tackle for loss third down and four run to the outside it's a goal line stand for the Mount Pleasant defense what a stand and it's now a six point game so a touchdown would give us the lead back under five minutes left now in the fourth quarter quads to the right a lob to the outside for Elton Huff he's got the first down inside of North Texas territory now under four minutes left in the game it's a give up the middle for Mike Meadows he's got it and he has the first down as we're now over a hundred yards rushing a fake screen we're actually gonna go with the screen it's golden and he's brought down by the face mask a flag is out it's a personal foul face mask so now the ball at the 15 yard line third down and six throw outside it's dropped by McCall maybe knocked away but you have to make that catch now fourth down and six it's golden who drops it this time another good play by the defense and now Mount Pleasant needs to come away with a stop a draw play Johnson with the tackle but a flag is down it appears it is a face mask and a big mistake by the junior college transfer we still have all three timeouts here's a draw play that goes for four yards we use our first timeout now bringing a heavy blitz it's a first down for Jeffrey Wilson and that should all but do it the clock will continue to run one more first down will end this game and that is it a 12 yard run a six point victory and the season opener for North Texas Mount Pleasant drops to 0 and 1 Jeffrey Wilson is your player of the game 110 yards on the ground you have to wonder if on that final drive on the third down and fourth down and six as Ken Watkins was not in the game he was injured and so was Alan Harrison if either of them were in the game would they have made that catch they were both very catchable balls and were just knocked away or dropped in McCall's case. And so instead we'll be 0-1 on the season. We had a chance to win today's game. One sack for Kavika Watts and two interceptions for Markel Reyes, the junior corner. 308 yards passing for North Texas. We've got to do better than we did in this game and last year at stopping the passing game. However, our next game we're going to have to stop the run against Vandy this will be a game on the road they were off in week one however they are a talented team they're definitely not the best team in the SEC but obviously being a power five team they have a lot more talent than we do uh, one of the good things from today's game no lasting injuries as Alan Harrison will be able to come back in next game Ralph Webb though leads this Vanderbilt team along with Trent Sherfield. They're both very good athletes and we have to watch out for them along with Kyle Shermer. A couple of really good true freshmen though for Vandy. Gerald Harris, a top 10 prospect, did commit there. He's a 6'3 wide receiver. They also had a five-star cornerback commit as well. Today was a tough loss. Our offense definitely did struggle. Our running game wasn't going and then all of our receivers just kept getting hurt. So it's hard to win in a game like that, especially when you're missing your one and two receiver for a good portion of it. But I hope you did enjoy today's episode. If you did, please like down below. Leave your comments on the game down below. And I will see you for our game against Vandy, hopefully in the next couple of days. Because I'm out.